we want to simplify each of the following and write in the form a plus or minus bi. In our first problem, we're subtracting two complex numbers. So what we'll do is clear the parentheses and combine like terms, treating the i like any other variable. So we can clear the parentheses here by distributing one, and because of the subtraction, we can clear the parentheses by distributing a negative one. So that would give us two plus 15i, and then minus 10, minus 4i. And now we'll combine like terms. Notice two minus 10 is equal to negative eight, and 15i minus 4i equals 11i, so we have plus 11i. Notice how we have found the difference, and it is in the form of a plus or minus bi. So the difference is negative eight plus 11i. Next we have 13i times the quantity three plus five i. So 13i times the quantity three plus five i. We'll distribute like we normally would, treating i as a variable, and then we'll simplify. So we'd have 13i times three plus 13i times five i. Well 13i times three is equal to 39i. And then we have 13i times five i, that's plus 65i squared. But a complex number has to be in the form of a plus or minus bi. We can't have i squared, but remember i squared is equal to negative one. So we have 39i plus 65 times negative one, which is equal to 39i minus 65. But we should write it in the form of a plus or minus bi, where the real number is first and the imaginary number is second. So it's better to have this as negative 65 plus 39i. So negative 65 plus 39i. Next we have nine minus i times 11 plus i. Notice here we'll have four products, one, two, three, four. And again, we'll perform the algebra like we normally would and then simplify as needed. So we have nine times 11, that's 99, plus nine times i, that's plus nine i. And then negative i times 11, that's minus 11 i. And then finally we have negative i times i, that'd be negative i squared. Now we want to simplify, we have 99, and then we have nine i minus 11 i, that's negative two i or minus two i. And then we can't leave i squared here. Remember i squared equals negative one. So be careful here, we'd have minus and then negative one, which would become plus one. 99 plus one equals 100. So we have 100 minus two i. And now for the last example, notice how we're subtracting again. So we'll clear the parentheses. We can clear the parentheses here by distributing positive one, which won't change anything. And here, because of the subtraction, we can think of distributing negative 12. So we'd have eight plus i, and then negative 12 times 14 is equal to negative 168, so we have minus 168. And then negative 12 times seven i, that would be negative 84i or minus 84i. And now simplifying, we have eight minus 168, that's negative 160. And then we have i or one i minus 84i, which would be negative 83i or minus 83i. So we have negative 160 minus 83i. I hope you found this helpful.